Here I want to take the uh, cube root of a complex number. So the process is basically going to be the same. I just got to be a little bit more careful with roots than I am with um, powers on these complex numbers. So first things first, I need to know the location of this complex number. So this is positive 3, negative 4, which is good because tan inverse is going to work in this quadrant because it works in the first and the fourth. All right, so let's go and look for the modulus, the radius, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared. In this case, you're going to get 3 squared plus 4 squared. Oops. And 9 plus 16 is 25, so you're going to get the square root of 25 is 5. So a nice modulus. Um, and it's really important to keep this positive in case this turns into a square root. You don't want to deal with an I here and an I on the inside. It just makes for mistakes. So here we're going to try to force our radius to be positive. And while we're at it, we're going to try to force our angle to be positive also. All right, so tan inverse is going to work. So we're going to get the tan inverse of negative 4 over 3, neg uh, B over A. And this is going to give me approximately negative um, 53.1 degrees. Now remember, I don't want to change this into a negative, so I don't want to add 180 to this and then change the radius to a negative and deal with radicals of a negative. So the other option is um, this is negative 53.1 degrees, but we could, if we wanted to, add 360 to it. It'll give us a coterminal angle, it'll be positive, and it'll be less than uh, 360 degrees. So I'm going to take 360 and add it on to my negative 53.1. So negative 53.1 plus 360 is 306.9. So I'm going to choose to use theta to be 306.9 degrees and the modulus of 5. All right. Um, one thing before we get going on this, this cube root is eventually going to turn into a power of a third. And anytime you take an angle and divide it by another, kind of like uh, if you went way back in the videos, there is this example. And when we started solving for it, we found one of the angles to be 30 degrees, pi over 6. And because the 2x forces the sine curve to condense, in other words, get um, done quicker, more solutions end up between 0 and 360, or in this case, 2 pi. So the trick we used was to add on the next answer along the curve. So if one of the answers was at pi over 6, another one would show up a period away. And then every time we wanted to look for a solution, we would just multiply by k. So we're going to have to pull the same trick because we're going to be dividing kind of like here. We would have to divide by 2 and get pi over 12 plus pi k. Uh, if you went back into your videos about trigonomic equations, this was part of it. So when we start dividing this theta, the first thing I'm going to do is write it as theta plus 2 pi k. So when we find theta, or well, in this case we're going to be using 360 degrees k, we're going to write it in this fashion and then go through and divide by whatever power. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is just jump right into uh, Euler's formula ei theta. So we have um, 5 e i theta in this case was 306.9, 6.9 degrees. And we're going to take this whole thing and take the cube root of it, which is the same thing as raising it to a power of a third. So here we're going to use laws of exponents. We're going to take the cube root of 5, and then power to a power we're going to multiply, which in essence means we're going to take 306.9 and divide it by 3, and because of that we're going to add on that uh, 360k before we start dividing by 3. I'll do that off to the side. So my modulus is now going to be the cube root of 5, or 5 to the 1 power. 
E, I, and then this gets kind of big, and I'll change color. We're going to have our 306.9 degrees plus 360 degrees times K, all divided by 3. All right, so let's look at the theta. So theta in this case is going to be 306.9 divided by 3, 102.3. And then we're going to add on 360 divided by 3, which is 120. And then we're going to have the K. So theta is going to have a couple answers. Remember, we only want answers between 0 and um, 360. So one of my solutions is 102.3. Then I add on 120. So plus 120, 222.3. And then I add on another 120, or 342.3. All right, I'm only going to find one of the possible roots, but there are two others, and then I'll show you graphically what they look like. All right, so our um, complex number in A plus BI form is going to be the cube root of 5. Now we just go back to our cosine and sine. So it'll be cosine of 102.3 degrees plus I sine of 102.3 degrees. To come up with the other two answers, all you have to do is change the angles to 222 and 342. So the cube root of 3 minus 4I is going to be uh, the cube root of 5 times cosine of 102.3 for a grand total of negative 0.364. I'll just write it as negative 0.36. And then the cube root of uh, the sine of 102.3 is 1.67. And this would be the cube root of 3 minus 4i. One of the roots. There's two others. So let me show you what the other two look like. All right, here's a little setup I created. Um, this is the number. Um, oops. I think I put in the wrong number. 3 minus 4i. So let's see. Uh, 3 minus 4i. Oh, that's the solution. Um, the solution, of course, was uh, negative 0 0.36, 1.67. Negative 0 0.36, 1.67. Okay. So this is the graph of the solution. And the other two is you just add another 120 degrees to it. So there's a second solution. It would be negative 1.26, negative 1.15. The angle would be 222.3. And then the third solution is over here. 1.63, negative 0.52. So this would be 1.63 minus 0.52i. All right. So I can do an, another way to show you kind of what it looks like. Uh, let's B. Turn trace on. And there's the first solution. There's the second solution. There's the third solution. And the angle between each one of these solutions is 120 degrees for a grand total, of course, of 360. So this is the three roots of the cube root of 3 minus 4i. Kind of nice.